Hello all, welcome to the new session on actuators or actuation as a part of Internet for Things for Beginners. We In the earlier session, we have discussed on sensors and their sensing capabilities. And one more important building block of IoT world is actuators. So let us understand what are actuators. Actuator is a component of a machine or a system that moves or controls the mechanism or the system. And this is something different to the sensors because sensors read the ambient changes and sense the trigger mechanism to the either actuators or to the processing units. Whereas actuators get the data from the sensors and act according to that. So an actuator is a mechanism by which a control system acts upon an environment. So this is something more of an action based mechanism. So if I were to give you an example of actuators in today's world, if you talk about the cars, today's cars are filled with IoT sensors and actuators. So when you switch on your car, put a key inside, automatically the mirrors on the side gets adjusted. Sometimes some good cars like Tesla, Mercedes, they provide the facilities that when you are turning on your uh, you know, car, it will set up the temperature of the car according to your daily preferences. So this is actuator mechanism. An actuator requires a control section, signal and a source of energy. So it requires a power and a control signal coming from either the processing unit like a Raspberry Pi or Arduino or maybe through the sensors. Let us understand the working principle of an actuator. So upon receiving a control signal, just like we mentioned earlier, the actuator responds by converting the energy into mechanical motion. So if we understand this diagram, current and voltage is one component which is an electric component of the actuator plus it has the hydraulic or the fluid which is the pressure and the third component is manual drive or the mechanical. So when we get a control signal, the actuator actuates all these three things and accordingly acts. So a control system can be a simple or you can be having a complex mechanism or it can be a software based, a human or any other input based mechanism which will actuate the actuator, right? And there are different types of actuators which are available in the market based on the need in the IoT world, we can use different mechanism. So we have hydraulic, we have pneumatic, electrical, thermal, mechanical, and nowadays we're also having a lot of hybrid types of actuators also. So actuators are something which is very important because sensing and sensors take the first part of the IoT world where they sense different changes, sense different temperature, etc. But actuators are equally important because according to the sensing and control mechanism, the actuators are the one which move and work in the same direction. So uh, we have seen the basics of Internet of Things. Then we saw the sensing capabilities. Now we have seen the actuators and the last important building block which we'll be discussing next is the networking because in order to work very fluently in the internet of things world we need all of these components to be connected well so in the next lecture we are discussing on basics of networking